Right, this is what the friend has asked us about, are these in-needle selectors. And if you'll notice, it's spring-loaded into this position. There's one on either side of the carriage. And you'll notice it does two things. It changes this path, but look, it also has a piece down here that it's also manipulating. Now, let me show you. This is an inexpensive set of hobby-type screwdrivers. I'm going to use the second largest size. But anything that will fit in this slot is what we're going for. This is a slotted screw. Now, you notice I released it. But then it spring-loaded itself into this position. I'm going to do the same thing over here. The problem is it goes the same way. So you have to get yourself out of the way of the manipulation once you've made it. Okay, now let's see what happens when we knit with the adjustment in this position. Okay. I'm using the 2x2 two two punch card. So two needles back, two forward, two back, two forward. All the way across is the pattern. And in this position, how we have this end needle selector adjusted, it's not doing anything. It is just letting the machine follow the pattern. Two, 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 two. If I had had a second one up here, it would select it and then not select it. So now let's see what happens when we change it. Now let's bring the needle selectors into play, and I'm turning this counterclockwise. There's that one. And this one, notice, let's back up, I want to show you this. Alright, I'm turning the screwdriver counterclockwise to bring, engage that. I'm going to go over to the other side. If I, It won't turn counterclockwise, it's turning clockwise. Here, mirror. Images. They're just like they should be, mirror images of one another. But that's important because what the friend has said is she cannot get it to move. Well, I can't if I'm trying to go in the same direction oh, as so this Oh, so maybe one. there's some, nothing wrong with it. Maybe she just expected something different right. than what it is. But, you know, my rule, try it one way gently, <laughs> then try it the other way gently. <laughs> but, okay, now both of the end needle selectors are in play talk for a minute about why we even care about this. This is the position in which the needles will knit for tuck and slip. This is the position in which they'll be tucked or slipped. If we're tucking, slipping, or even knitting fair aisle, you really do want the edge needle to knit. You can imagine what a mess you get if it doesn't knit, if it tries to catch a loop. Then we can, when we knit back the other way, we don't have a stitch to work with. We have a loop and it creates an a messy edge or other problems. So that is why we use this end needle select position. This is left out of the pattern. It just knits stock in that every row. Now this one is presently positioned so that it would not knit because it's back. But when I start using the end needle selector, this will come forward regardless of what the patterning card says to do, the punch card. Let me get that out of the way. All right, let's give it a try. All right, and needle selection is on. See, this needle got selected even though the pattern would tell it to be there. In a minute, that'll happen on the left, as it just did. And that's the result. <laughs>